I feel it in my bones, you ache to know my name, and so I'll clue you in, but then why spoil the game? Happy Halloween. Hey everybody, it's Kelly. In this video, I'm gonna show you the clues that I discovered in the Halloween card that was sent in attention to journalist Paul Avery of the San Francisco Chronicle. This is the first clue that I noticed, the triangles on the skeleton's feet on the front of the card. This card was mailed a year after the 340 cipher and months after the My Name is cipher. The Zodiac Killer had yet to be identified. The last line of the 340 cipher has a triangle just like the card clues into, so it's a clue to the 340 cipher. The next clue on the front cover is the 14 that Zodiac wrote on the hand of the skeleton, as well as writing it on the inside of the card. So he clued into the 14 two times. Also, see there are 14 lines on the skeleton where the rib cage is up to the neck. Since the 340 cipher was already a clue, let's look at it. Here are the 14th lines of the 340 cipher, counting from the top and from the bottom. On the tree, Zodiac wrote peekaboo. On the 14th line of the 340 code is the word boo, just like Zodiac clued to. On the envelope, he wrote an X with the word sorry, no cipher, kind of given a clue that there wasn't a cipher included. Simply follow the clues. This is the 14th line from the bottom where you can see an X, just like he clued into on the envelope. Both of these lines show C's connecting to them, as the C's are also clues in his card. Many have thought, not only myself, that Zodiac used a light table. What I'm gonna do here is show you in a modern way by using transparency setting. When you take the 340 cipher and fold it in half, which I'm demonstrating here, lines 14 from top and bottom overlay each other. The cipher is split evenly after the cut lines on the side. I'm going to adjust the transparency setting to mimic what it would look like looking at the overlaid lines on a light table. Next to the word boo, which was one of Zodiac's clues, is the X, and now you can see a name. It's not a common name at all, but it's very important because his clues led me here, and that name is Zen. Zen Anthony is the only suspect that was identified by name at Paul Stein's murder. Now let's look at the back of the card where he wrote, by fire, by gun, by knife, by rope, slaves, paradise. He left clues in it too. This is the area I'm gonna be focusing on where it reads Zen. I'm going to eliminate everything else just to highlight that area of his clues. Notice the by knife is different than the others. By is vertical and the N is backwards. The section he already clued to is also showing a backwards N. By is above it and is vertical along with two symbols of the zodiac nearby. The name is Zen. Here's the 340 cipher key, showing the substitution for each coded character. Notice the zodiac symbol is an A. This key below was approved by the FBI as accurate and it reveals zodiac's name, Zen A. But there's more questions and clues and coincidences about Paul Stein's murder. Single male cab driver on Washington and Cherry doesn't fit. That so. Why does Zoe have killed him? He's breaking the bed. Paul Stein's murder broke the pattern. He was a lone victim, as well as Zodiac's last known victim. Since I found Zen's name hidden in many different ways, I find it odd or strange coincidence that his last victim had the initials P.S. He wrote P.S. many times in his letters. Was Paul Stein killed for a sick clue to Zodiac's identity? He was killed on the corner of Washington and Cherry. 
Zen Anthony was born and raised in Spokane, Washington. He lived on Jackson Street at the time of Paul Stein's murder, just a short walk away. He also matches the description that Officer Fout gave, especially including the widow's peak. Where did you see this guy? He got the call to circle the scene for a Negro male. Where was he? In Jackson, heading east about the middle of the block. This, this is three minutes after the shooting, give or take. Yeah. And you're heading east or west? We were going west. Right. So you're on Jackson, going west. So the cab was one block, county corner, southwest? Correct. Did you slow down? Of course we slowed down. Right. Listen, dispatch said it was a Negro male. That, that was corrected. No, but at the time, I hadn't changed it. This guy was white. 